So the sun is shining down on the festival goers here in Cannes and uh, Gilles Jacob, the former president, said that Cannes is a strange place uh, where we show films that uh, we're not uh, sure are going to be released uh, to be seen by people who aren't going to go. And so uh, here we have Jessica Hosner who is going to present uh, Club Zero, her film in competition and uh, there's no release date yet for Club Zero. It's going to be released, nevertheless, uh, despite what Gilles Jacob might say. So Club Zero, what is Club Zero that uh, the uh, uh, children of this uh, posh private school go to? Well, it's something created by Miss Novak. Uh, Club Zero is a satire which criticizes uh, the health food craze and uh, controlled eating. It's a story about youth and upbringing and education. Uh, Cecile Besteinder, who's in the film, there's French actors in this film, Mathieu Demy is there as well. And Elsa Silberstein and uh, Mia Vasikovska, who plays the uh, sort of guru teacher. And Miss Novak, uh, Mia Vasikovska. Of course, Restless in 2011, here in Un Certain Regard from Gus Van Sant. She was in Only Lovers Left Alive in 2012 in the official selection in Maps to the Stars and Des Hommes Sans Loi, Maps to the Stars, alongside Julianne Moore in Cronenberg's film, Mia Vasikovska. Mathieu Demy, talking with, uh, both talking with one of the young people in the film. It's a film about youth, ready to rebel against their parents and uh, the defects in the, the default lines in the education system. Mia Vasikovska, Sam Ho, Esitza Babette Kuritsen, the most French of uh, Danish actors, who's not here today, but she was in the film, of course, Jessica Hosner, Hosner, director. So a very caustic, uh, acerbic spirit. Uh, Jessica Hosner maybe inherited this from Michael Haneke when she was working with him on Funny Games as a continuity. Yeah, yeah. The film that uh, shocked people here when it came out about this family that's uh, bullied and harassed. Uh, very violent film. Club Zero isn't violent, it's very caustic, it's a satire. Miss Novak uh, is taken on at uh, a school, a very posh school, where uh, she starts a nutrition class and she has this very innovative um, concept and uh, she doesn't raise any, doesn't raise uh, awareness uh, of the families or the parents or the teachers and she uh, has a number of children who fall under her spell and uh, they become members of the very uh, the very uh, close circle of Club Zero. She's a sort of U.S., if you like. Uh, the journalists, uh, of course, have got lots of plays on words with food on the film and the critics. Uh, it's one of the themes of the film is, is uh, food, and for some, it's uh, not very digestible, even though it's well made. Others say that it's uh, sandwiched between two ideas. And for Libération, it says uh, a very dry regime. And uh, Peter Bradshaw says not much to chew on. And so this, this one, you know, and the children uh, stop eating because of the actions of Miss Novak, played by Mia Vasikovska. Of course, Jessica Hausner is known for uh, Love La Rita Hotel, Lord Amour Fou, and uh, Little Joe, of course, in, which was selected in uh, the official selection here. And Emily Bickham won the Best Actress Award here for that. 
So she's there now with the young actors. Uh, of course, uh, not in their uniforms, uh, unisex uniforms in the film. Everybody wears uh, a uh, sort of skirt, uh, skirt shorts. And the uniforms, it's not the first time we've seen uniforms in Jessica Husner's films. It's something she quite likes having. There was already a uniform in Lourdes for the Order of Malta. And in Little Joe as well, there were school uniforms. And so, youth rebelling. This is something that Jessica Hosner likes exploring. The question that the film raises is how can parents keep an eye on their children when they haven't got time to do it? They don't find the time to do it. They don't make the time to do it. How did society come to a point where this sort of responsibility is delegated to somebody else? In the relationship to food, she said that controlling what you eat is a way of controlling your body. And so it gives you a feeling of power and strengthens the impression that you're, uh, you're, you're unique, that you're separate. The refusal to eat, of course, disguises a refusal to live in a way. There's Mia Vasikovska, who's already been in Cannes, of course, uh, for Only Lovers Left Alive, Map to the Stars, Restless, and Bergman Island in 2021, which is in the official selection. Mia Vasikovska. I was in uh, Guillermo, Guillermo de Toro's Crimson Peak, and she was Tim Burton's Alice in his Alice in Wonderland. Elsa Silberstein, French actress, alongside uh, Mathieu Demy son of Agnès Varda and Jacques Demy, Elsa Silberstein, who was, of course, uh, Simone, for people who've seen uh, Xavier Daoum's film. And in the film, she plays the mother of an anorexic child. Yeah, but it's her, not her daughter. Mathieu Demy plays her husband. And both of them are surprised by the reaction of their daughter who just stops eating. With uh, a very mocking scene that we won't say much about, but uh, which could shock uh, a lot of people. It's uh, when the girl is sick and vomit, of course, is very fashionable in cinema at the moment. Uh, we saw it in Babylon and even in Triangle of Sadness from Ruben Ostland, the president of the jury, in his film from last year. So yeah, I'm sure this film will please him, not just because of the vomit. So Mathieu Demy, Elsa Silberstein, the two French actors in this film from Jessica Hosner, a film about the relationship to the body, about food, about uh, regimes, dieting, and the feeling of belonging to a group, and youth rebelling against their parents. And Elsa Silberstein plays the mother of a pupil of a student in the film. And the mother herself is anorexic. So Elsa Silberstein is uh, going along with the photographers like she did on the red carpet last night. And 
she's here for Jessica Houston's Club Zero in competition. They have Emir El Masni, one of the actors in the film. Everybody going towards the press conference. Jessica Hosner, the director, and her team. <laughs> Jessica Hosner wrote this film with Geraldine Bajar, her habitual co-writer who's worked on a number of uh, her films. Lovely Vita, Hotel, Lourdes, Amour Fou, and of course, Little Joe, which was selected in the official competition here in 2019. And Jessica Hosner was a member of the jury in 2021 with Spike Lee as president of the jury, and some will remember that the Palme d'Or was given to <laughs> Julia Ducournau's Titane, who is in the jury this year with Ruben Ostland for 2023. So they both might like this film. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say, because yeah. we love the film. You said it's very interesting as well, even seeing the character of this woman. Julia Ducournau yeah. will talk about... Uh, the monsters being allowed into the festival now. So behind the scenes at the festival here, the director and actor chatting together. So we're here like a little fly on the wall in a way, eavesdropping. You know the scene when she's sitting in the lobby? Elsa Silberstein's perfect English. And those who have seen the film know that uh, will know that she plays a rebellious mother who is herself anorexic. They're all going towards the press conference room. They'll be signing a few autographs on their way in. Jessica Osner with her actress Elsa Silverstein. Of course, she played Simone. She was uh, nominated uh, for uh, Best Actress uh, César by this film from uh, Olivier Daron. And she wears the same costume as uh, in this film, as she did in uh, Simone, and uh, begins with sh, sha and ends with Nell. And uh, the director really likes uh, uniforms, and of course, Elva Silberstein's costume is, uh, is a uniform in a way, so I'm sure she'll be signing a few autographs in a moment. Uh, we're going to show you the images of the end of the screening last night to give you an idea of the emotion of the end of the screenings. Jessica Hausner, the director of Club Zero, in competition here in 
can. A film about youth, about upbringing, education, failed parenting, on the relationship to the body and to food. Elsa Silberstein, final photo. You're going to see the emotion of Elsa on a row I at the end of the screening.